Hey everyone, my name is Will. Welcome to Room and Goods. So as many of you may know, some people have found the stock foam interface pretty uncomfortable and people even experience irritation on their skin. So to fix this issue, Oculus is giving away a free silicone cover for free. Now I recently got the silicone cover from Oculus, so let's check it out. So if you're wondering how to get a silicone cover for free from Oculus, I have made a video of the steps of getting one for your Oculus Quest 2. I'll leave a link in the description. Now the packaging is pretty simple, really not much to it. The front just reads Quest 2 silicone cover and the back has some safety instructions and directs you to a website for more instructions of how to clean and install the cover. So my first impressions, you can already feel it's softer and smoother against the skin compared to the stock facial interface. Now I do have the VR cover silicone version with me. So if you compare the two, the VR cover silicone cover is a bit thicker and I would say slightly softer than the Oculus version, but not by much. Also, you'll notice one key difference between the two. There's actually isn't a nose flap on the Oculus silicone cover. Now, some of us do like the nose flap because it helps prevent light leakage around the headset. But for some, not having a nose flap or a nose guard is something that they may be looking for because they could be sensitive to anything touching their nose or wanting to be still connected to their physical surroundings while in VR. So it really depends on the person. But overall, I think both silicone covers are actually pretty comfortable compared to the stock facial interface. But if you have the VR cover foam replacement, this one definitely has more of a cushion and it's a bit more comfortable against your skin. But it is a more expensive item than the silicone covers. Now, as far as the installation of the Oculus silicone cover, it's nothing too difficult. You just have to unsnap the stock facial interface from the headset, then slip the silicone cover over the facial interface. Just make sure both sides are properly wrapped and secure around the interface, or it's gonna get a bit loose during VR sessions. Then snap the interface back on, and that's pretty much it. Now, as far as cleaning, that's another reason why I like the silicone cover over the stock facial interface. The silicone is definitely much easier to clean and much more hygienic compared to the stock facial interface because the stock version that came with the Quest 2 headset is really like a sponge soaking up sweat and bacteria, and it's difficult to clean. So first step to cleaning is unsnapping the facial interface and removing the silicone cover. Now, it's recommended to clean your silicone cover with warm water and rinse with clean water. You can also use rubbing alcohol if you like. But according to Oculus, don't use any disinfectant wipes, soap, or any other cleaning products as these may cause severe irritations. After you're done cleaning, just dry the silicone and attach the facial interface back onto the headset, and that's it. So I have played at least two or three hours with the silicone cover without feeling any discomfort, and it even feels cooler against your skin when you first put it on. But I'm also using it with the Elite battery strap to help with the comfort. And by the way, if you guys seen my other videos on the Elite strap, be careful with it because I have broken my Elite straps a couple of times, but it was pretty easy to replace for free. All right, guys, I just want to show you guys what the Oculus silicone cover looks like. If you like the video, press the like button and consider subscribing. Talk to y'all later.